Dear parents, children, and family members, happy 17th of May. I hope you are all safe and healthy. Today is a day when you usually go outside and celebrate Norway's National Day. People get dressed up, walk in parades, and overall enjoy the day. But due to COVID-19, it will not be the same as it has been in the previous years. Now we have to stay at home to avoid spreading this contagious virus. Although quarantine seems tiresome, it is truly nothing compared to what Sissy Klein went through. She had to hide, knowing that if she wasn't careful enough, she could be found and treated horribly and in the end, die an agonizing death. Sissy Klein was a Lithuanian, La Lithuanian Latvian girl brought up in a Jewish family. She was born on the 19th of April, 1929. Both of her parents were immigrants from the two Baltic states of, Lat uh, of Latvia and Lithuania. She lived with her parents and her older brother, Abraham. At first, her life was ordinary. Her parents owned a retail store in Thomas Angelskata, and she was a student at Kalvishina School, or now known as Berli International School. But her life changed when she was 13. It was 1942, the middle of World War II. Sissy's father and older brother were arrested on October 17, 1942, and taken to a concentration camp close to Levangid. After that, Sissy was forced to live in an apartment with other women and children, where she would be safe from Nazis. But she still lived in fear, knowing that one day she would be found and live the same fate as her father and brother did. Another month passed, and Sissy Klein was safe. But the victory wasn't long-lasting. The Nazis found her on the 25th of October, and she was taken to Auschwitz. She was brutally murdered on the 3rd of March, 1943, at the age of 13. Unfortunately, Sissy was not the only victim of the Holocaust. She was one of the millions who lost their lives. However, the story does not end there. In, in the 1990s, Trondheim decided to nominate one of its 72 residents who were persecuted during the war to represent the victims of Nazi atrocities and thereby the memory of Sissy has been kept alive. In 1995, the street where she lived was named Sissy Kleinsgotha in her memory and a statue of her made by Tode Björn Skulsvik and Tone Equas was unveiled in the park nearby in 1997. So as you see, quarantine is not comparable to this. Sissy had to go through a lot at, the ver at a very young age. Please keep in mind that many events like this have been happening in the world and thousands are dying. Some die young, like Sissy Klein. I hope you understand. Thank you for your attention.